welcome back to another episode of Scratches. We're on episode four of our creepy house exploration. La 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 la. Anyway, let's load. In the effort of saving time, I wandered around trying to figure out what the heck I didn't do. So, yeah. Oh, and we're back. Haha, <laughs> I'm not spinning around like a nut. Now, trying to remember what exactly I did before so I could remember. I didn't want to make you guys watch me wander around forever. And also, if I sound any weird, it's because I'm getting used to this new headset. I'm trying to remember. It's been a while since I played. <sighs> I need to keep up on these things. Doorknob. Mm. Okay. We're going to look at these. We actually shed light on these before, which actually had a purpose, and I didn't think to look in the pots. Because apparently there was a key there that whole time. How did I miss that? Maybe because I can't see anything. <laughs> so, uh, inventory. Let's examine this. That's a rusty golden key. It's quite heavy. Dandy. Anyway. So, we got a new key. Pretty sure it's the basement key because that's where everything is leading up to. And apparently, I can check some of these drawers, which I didn't before. Oh, hey, look at that! I got a ting! I got a knife. It's nice. Really wish I clicked around a little bit better before because <laughs> then we would have found it a lot much sooner. I wonder if it says anything about the knife. I was carefully holding a sharp butcher's knife. I think it says carefully. It's like, ah, I was just waving that thing around. Whee! <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure this is our basement key. I'm not looking forward to this. Hey, we unlock the door. Uh, I really don't like basements. I don't like going in my basement as is. Oh, that ain't good music. Um, can I pull that? No. This music is really freaking me out. It's terribly cold and damp in the basement. No shit. Can I touch anything? Do I want to even look? I don't feel like I want to look. Uh, this music. Seriously. Uninteresting boxes. How about the screeching? Um, let's go over there. I don't really want to explore the basement, so we'll just try to... Looks like a fuse box, right? No? Anybody an electrician? The atmosphere was dense and claustrophobic. Yeah, no shit, we got really creepy music. Look at the fuse box, damn it! <laughs> Guess that's not it. I don't want to go over there. I want to look at the fuse box, seriously. Huge furnace covering most of the east wall. I didn't understand why, but I began to feel terribly uneasy. It had a menacing look to it. F fuse box? Please? Seriously? Oh god, we're gonna go over here. My mind must have been playing tricks on me, but there soon to be an occasional distant noises. I don't want to open that! I wanted to go to the fuse box! Wouldn't hope to have to push any of those around. What's that? That fuse box? Drain cover? Oh god. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. <laughs> Why did we open this? The interior of the furnace was as dark as the mouth of a wolf. In any case, I didn't want to spend too much time near it. No shit! Can we go to the fuse box now, please? <laughs> Why? What am I doing wrong, Cyrus? Uh, suddenly I felt a very cold breeze on the back of my neck, and then as I realized I wanted to leave the basement as soon as possible. Okay! Okay, let's leave. Basement. I don't trust the basement. <sighs> uh, so I guess we couldn't do anything with the fuse box? I'm gonna... Let's go back to the stupid phone. <sighs> I feel a lot better after leaving there. That music was really getting to me. It's like a wee wee. Oh god. And I don't know about you guys, but that creepy music can really, really get to me. <laughs> Thousand doors. Where is the frickin' 
phone. I'm going to carry this thing around with me. Let's talk to Jerry. Please be there. No! Uh, um. Well, that's not good. Does that mean we have to go down back to the basement? Uh, we have to figure out the fuse box. I don't want to go. It was really creepy. I wonder if I'm supposed to go inside that... No, there's no reason to crawl inside a furnace. Right? Back down. Oh god. Oh, come on. Yeah, I really don't want to be here. Ever. Please, can we go to the fuse box? Why? 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 Yes, I understand that that's there. I would like to move forward. You know what? Let's just go... Let's go man up the basement. Anything here? God, this music is killing me. Yeah, that's great. We looked at that drain. We looked at the boxes. Fine, whatever. Why no fuse box? Oh, that was the fuse box. There's nothing wrong with the fuses. kind of dumb thinking that other thing was a fuse box, but it looked more like a fuse box. And there's still no power. I like how he's like, there's nothing wrong with the fuses, but like, not too long ago he was on the phone like, I don't know anything about fuses. How do you know they look fine then? Hmm? You know. Probably just wanted to get the hell out of the basement. I don't blame him. I wanted to get the hell out of the basement. Ugh. Now we should be able to call Hibblejib and be like, there's nothing wrong with the fuses, I hope. If not, then I get to wander around some more. Oh yay, it's ringing, thank god. Hello? Jerry, all the fuses seem to be fine. I think the problem might be a little more complicated than that. I see. Naturally. What should we do now? Go get some candles. You're joking, right? No, I'm not. I'm calling this guy right away, and I'm afraid he won't be able to stop by until tomorrow. He was already driving there today as a personal favor. There must be something you can do. I don't feel comfortable walking around this place with dim lights. I barely know it. Michael, come on. Where's your sense of adventure? It would be like you were living in a past century. Exquisite Victorian house, lit by candles. What I wouldn't give to be in your place. I left my sense of adventuring back in London, thanks. I have work See, to everybody do. lives in then London. Then do it. <laughs> what else could you ask for? Now you have the chance to experience firsthand one of your period pieces. Oh, very funny. Try getting that guy over here as soon as possible. Don't worry, I will. Make sure you find some candles before it gets too dark. Yes, candles. Bye. Ah. Well, that was useless. I don't think we've seen any candles. If I were a candle, oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> where would I be? I'd probably be upstairs. I think. I don't know, there were like 10,000 candelabras. And not a damn candle in sight. How does that even happen? You think there'd be like leftover wax or something? Uh, not that we could use that. Do we even have matches? I mean, we could light the fireplace. We do have matches. I wonder if we can light the fireplace. That would make sense. You look like a light-worthy thing. Let's try it. The idea was nice, but wasn't that I wasn't that cold really, and I preferred to save a few matches I had left. But but we need light, and that's wood, and we have no candles. Ah! And this is where I would like to use a fact. An effort of saving time. 
Light the cigars, fuck's sake. Yeah, that won't open. No candles. We're just gonna have to try and, like, rush and pretend that we... find things. Cigars. There's a ton of cigars in this place. Light the books on fire! We have 10,000 books! <laughs> Light them up! <laughs> hey, maybe that uh, other little key will work. Nope. How about you? Nope. Denied. Oops, I didn't want to do that. And there's no candles on the desk, I don't think. No. Nope, nope, nope. There's little click clack balls. I love little click clack balls. They're the best. Okay, so there's no candles there. Um, how about weirdo dining area? Nope, can't open that. How about you? Oh yeah! Forgot about booze cabinet. <laughs> Maltov cocktails! Let's light up the house! <laughs> Literally. Oh, la la la. How about you? You look like a trustworthy drawer. Light these up! You know, there's a lot of flammable things in here! I don't think there's anything on this desk. No. Why can we even look at this? I don't know. Okay. It's going. Yeah. There's another desk. Let's check this. No? They're stuck beyond hope. Blah blah blah. Let's go try, um... I guess the kitchen, I don't know. It never seems like there's anything useful in the kitchen. Turn the stove on! Mm. I was pretty sure we looked over here, and it was nothing but silverware. Because we just looked there today. Light whatever that is. How about in here? They ain't in the basement. They better not be in the basement. I don't want to go down to that damn basement again. Creepy freaking music. How about you? Drawing crap. Oh, those are those pictures. Those pictures I picked up 10,000 times. I would seriously consider lighting these books on fire. Down the house. What's this? Photography. We can pick it up so many times. Um, yonder? Did we look at these? I don't actually remember these. Who's this junk? Photography stuff. Light the clothes on fire! Can we light that rag on fire? Can we just... I wonder if Danny's starting to rub off on me. I'm becoming a pyromaniac. Lighting all the damn things on fire. And we're in the room with lovely water. Wait, what? Oh, we can look at it. Yeah, no. Skippy skippy. Okay, that means we're going upstairs. Oh, this is terrible. It's supposed to be creepy and exciting, and what are we doing? We're wandering around looking for candles. But then again, I'd probably rather look around for candles than go back in that frickin' basement and slowly be creeped out. Why can't we light those? Those look- actually, they might just be lamps. Light things. Yeah, up all the stairs, thank you. Wait, there's a higher area we didn't go in? Huh. We didn't explore all the house, then! Well... That's creepy. Yes, up all the stairs, thanks. Huh. I don't remember this being in the first game. I thought it was two floors, I guess three is fine. That door's stuck. Okay, that's fine. This area's kind of weird. I don't like this area either. Uh, 
Another bathroom. Why are all these toilets, like, beat the hell up? Seriously. These people, they hate their toilets. I don't like opening these doors. Oh, this looks like an unfinished room. I wonder if there are any bodies buried here. The amount of trash is unbelievable. Well, if they're working on it, no duh, there's trash, derby. Blah, 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 rubbish. In boxes. What's that? I don't know what that is. A neat little stove was standing on a plank. Let's take it! Take it. Can we take the hacksaw? No, we can't take the hacksaw. Actually, it's, it's a normal saw. How about towards that room? outside. Okay, so that was the connecting room thing. Let's go this way. There's another door. Let's go in here. Oh, it's stuck, but I could see a key on the other side through the keyhole. Well, it's not very useful, is it? What can we grab? What did we grab? Piece of newspaper I just picked up. How come we can pick that up? We've passed like hundreds of pieces of newspaper, but that is the one. That is the one we need. And there's wood. We could set the wood on fire! Set everything on fire! Yes, uninteresting boxes. There's another thing upstairs. Um, let's take this one first, maybe. We'll go with these. Oh, well, this is very dark. Okay, door. <sighs> okay, here we are again. What's that? Oh. Well, music box. That's nice. <laughs> Though I have to admit, horror games, music boxes, creepy. I don't know why. They go hand in hand. Probably because they wind down after a while. Just leave that alone. There's a bird cage. I'm putting you in there, Kara. Lund, lund, lund. Oh, we're looking all this stuff. Very uninteresting. How about that? A baby carriage. Papers. Ah, oh, fizz duckle. I looked at the date that Jerry told me and found an interesting article. Okay, let's um, let's read this. Mr. James Blackwood, distinguished resident of this town and a widely acknowledged construction engineer, was accused of murder yesterday by Miss Eva Marini, maid of the Blackwood family. While well, the nature of this investigation uh, is of the most unusual, it gives that Mr. Blackwood is a highly respected gentleman. Miss Marini, an Italian immigrant and inspiring photographer, affirms to have having a photograph that supports this accusation. I knew no one would ever believe me, so I took a picture of him, she says. I was supposed to be in town during the afternoon, but I didn't have need to. I mean, I didn't have any errands to do, so I was in my room and saw the shadow out in the garden. When I glanced through the window, I just couldn't believe my eyes. The lady, oh god, the soul thought of it. Send shivers down my spine. The photograph in question is in possession of the authorities, and it has been revealed that it clearly shows Mr. Blackwood bearing the shape of... bearing a shape in his garden? That's kind of weird. Okay. We can almost confirm that the shape is a body, says Police Chief William Bailey, but even if the image is not clear, this alone with Miss Marini's statement is enough to open a serious case against Mr. Blackwood. Police officers are already heading to Blackwood Manor as we speak. Up until the accusation, it was believed that Miss Catherine Blackwood was on a trip well, the wife is always on a trip. <laughs> anyway, according to the information we received from the school where she teaches, the police chief continues, a notice was sent to the teacher's department which stated that Miss Blackwood had to leave on a sudden trip and that she would make use of her house to do so. Miss Marini's accusation puts Mr. Blackwood in a very comprom compromising situation. Even if we can't find anything in the garden, he has a lot of explaining to do. The efforts of 
Dr. Christopher Milton, one of Rothbury's most respected doctors and longtime friend of the Blackwood family, to minimize the facts have been unsuccessful and the news is subject to discussion throughout the whole town. Hundreds of rumors are crossing the land. Theories range from plausible as well conceived to wild and crackpot ideas. Lol, crackpot. But the question that keeps hindering is and lingering in everyone's mind is which the answer has yet been found. Why would a wealthy and educated man cold-heartedly murder his wife after 30 years of marriage? I'll tell you why. Drove me nuts. Um, it's the same thing. Is that just... Yeah, we just keep picking up the same thing. That's fine. I decided to stop looking for candles. It was evident that there was none to be found. Ooh, a lantern! Oh, photos. A flying machine. How revolutionary. All these things. Meat cuttings. Here's our team! Okay. I strained my eyes to detect if there was anything useful among the junk, but instead got an impression of, of impression of a sinister presence lurking in the shadows. Um, hello, lantern. Actually, um, the lamp didn't have any oil. Now we have to get oil. Really? Okay. Well, if I were oil, where would I be? And I realized I didn't start the timer because I was so wrapped up in trying to get things working. Because when I was first getting this started, I decided to act freaking weird. Because I have a very hard time with this game. It seems like real life weird stuff happens to creep me out or whatever. Yes, up all the stairs, please. Are there more stairs? I'm at the top of the stairs. There's nothing here. Wait, I can look at that. Large crack in one of the walls of the tower. Huh. I bet somebody buried a body up here! Mmm. Oil, oil, oil. Um. Well, some of these rooms are working and stuff, so maybe it's in one of these rooms. Well, what's the little stove? Maybe the little stove has oil? I don't actually know how little weirdo stoves work. Nope. Um. I guess there might be oil in the kitchen? I really bet it's in the basement. <sighs> I don't want to go in the basement. It's probably the most interesting room in the house so far. Well, actually, you know that room with the... Whatchamacallit was interesting, the masks. Oh yeah, we can't go in there, I forgot. Okay, anyway, we're going back downstairs. Yes, down all the stairs. There really needs to not be a stopping point. I mean, seriously. Unless that's leading up to something. Okay, let's try uh, kitchen first. And for freaking shits and giggles, we'll try the freaking basement too. Because those seem like the most likely places for oil, I suppose. No, how about all these jars of junk? Anything? No. And there's definitely nothing in the fridge, but we'll look again. Light the fucking alcohol. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, we're going back in the basement one more time. <sighs> Please be oil in the basement. Please be oil in the basement. Please don't make me stay in this basement long. Uh. Are you oil? That's logs. Are you oil? You look like oil. You look like oil. Okay, there's... 
Oh well, there's still a lot of booze and... Wait, that could be oil, right? No. I really hate this music. Okay, we're getting the hell out of this basement. I'm like... If there's malice or something like weird or like some sort of aura thing, it's like you go into certain haunted or weird areas so many times that you like end up ruining yourself or like making the house worse off, then we're doomed. Because I went in that basement probably way more than I should have. Okay. Back on our search for oil. First it was candles, now it's oil. We're just not having the best of luck, are we? Um, it's been... That looks like oil because it's the worst water I've ever seen. <sighs> Hopefully after we find oil we can call it a, a session, I suppose. hell you would keep oil at, really? Uh, the garage? We can't get in the garage, though. Uh, we have a knife now, but I don't think that'll help us. This game doesn't like to be creative, it seems, with tools. Well, it's kind of creative. What do we got in our inventory, anyway? Couldn't we put said... Uh, I bet we're gonna have to soak the rag in oil or something. If I were oil, where would I be? I'd be in a garage. I wouldn't be in the study. Well, let's head out to the garage. I really have no idea where this would be. Oh yeah, this door. I will never remember where the handle is. Hey, the sky looks a little normaler than... Well, it's a little weird, but... It looks normaler than before. That looks like an oil drum, right? No? You're not gonna let me have that, are you? How about this thing? Let's try the knife anyway. I know this game will probably be like, you need to find a right key, but I'm like, no, give me a knife. Are you gonna say anything about it? No, I couldn't hurt myself. I don't want to hurt yourself. I want you to slam that freaking thing open. Let's check the mailbox again. Why not? No, there's no oil in there. Let's take gasoline from the car. <laughs> Wait, it was the boot of- wait, wait, what? I don't- I have no idea what he said and I'm not even gonna bother repeating it. Mm. I don't think there's anything out here. Mm. Well, nonetheless, we'll head back inside the house. And then we will call it the end of uh, episode 4. In episode 5 we'll go back on our mission of finding oil and making it through a night, I suppose. So, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, blah blah blah, watch other videos, blah blah blah, support and all that jazz. And I will see you next episode. Hopefully we can be more interesting and stop going in that damn basement. Okay, bye!